This is lesson five, Bitcoin as a ledger technology. And in this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the functionality of the Bitcoin blockchain as a warehouse or a digital database of information and comparing that to previous examples of revolutionary ledger technologies in society and history. Let's begin. Bitcoin carries with it many parallels with the printing press. And the printing press, which was invented in Mainz, Germany by Johann Gutenberg, brought about the decentralization of the manufacturing of books. And doing so, it raised the literacy rates of the people in the societies which use it considerably. And some will even argue that the printing press was one of the cornerstones of the development towards the Industrial Revolution. And the printing press was really an instrument which destroyed the monopoly that religious institutions had on knowledge and spiritual understanding. And in a lot of ways, this can be related to Bitcoin today in the idea that it has the potential to destroy the monopoly central banking institutions have on the issuance and the management of money supply. If we go back further in history, we also find that Babylonian cuneiform is a prime example of a ledger technology that was used to store and distribute information in a more effective manner. Babylonian cuneiform was used as a method by which to record information into clay tablets using the Sanskrit language. And these early writing styles first emerged around the late 4th millennium during the Ruck the 4th period. Now, Bitcoin adequately reflects these past historical examples of the printing press and Babylonian cuneiform, but it adds some fundamental and revolutionary additions. And perhaps most importantly is the idea that Bitcoin as a database and a ledger technology can be accessed anywhere in the world by anyone as long as they have an internet connection, while simultaneously the ledger is owned by no one. And this is made possible by the digital nature of Bitcoin. The Bitcoin ledger technology does not recognize physicality or geopolitical boundaries. And because of that, it essentially transcends these sorts of limitations. The Bitcoin blockchain can be used to store any type of information which can be distilled down to bits and bytes with caveats. But the general rule of thumb is that there is an incredible array of different file types and messages which are capable of being stored in the blockchain. And indeed today we already see that the main original Bitcoin white paper has been uploaded and hashed into the Bitcoin blockchain. A tribute to Nelson Mandela has been uploaded into the blockchain. And many different types of mysterious encrypted messages are all stored in the blockchain. And these are just a few early examples of how individuals are so eager to test this new ledger technology and the implications it has for timestamping, verifying, and sharing without the requirement of trust anything from historical records to database records to value information, financial transactions, and many, many more. Truly, we're on the cusp of something revolutionary with Bitcoin as a ledger technology. This brings us to the conclusion of today's lesson on the blockchain and Bitcoin as a ledger technology, and we strongly encourage you to dive into the implications of this revolutionary technology and read our comparisons of Bitcoin to previous ledger technologies such as the printing press and Babylonian cuneiform. You can find this article at diginomics.com slash the revolutionary roots of Bitcoin. That's it for today's lesson. We'll see you in the next one.